video in today's video i will show you how to use react portals to display a model uh, inside a next.js application now why we use portals so the issue is that suppose i have this next.js application and inside page.tsx i have this uh, so here you can see i have uh, some h1 tag okay i have one button which will open the model then i again i have some h1 tag because i wanted to make this page scrollable again i have this button and here i have this uh, model component again i have some h1 tag now the reason why we require react portals is because suppose this model was part of some other component we had a very complex layout and uh, uh, that component uh, which the model was part of had a position of relative currently we don't have any position relative all position are static so if uh, this parent component of this model had a position of relative then this model will only occupy as much space as its component but we want the model to occupy the entire width and height irrespective from where it is called or whatever its parent is that's why we use a react portal so here you can see i have taken a model and all you will have to do inside model.tsx is firstly you will have to go to uh, page.tsx over here uh, sorry layout.tsx and you will have to add a div with an id of model dash container id can be anything if you want you can use class name as well but i had used id next inside model.tsx firstly you will have to add uh, i have added a on close prop as well because to dismiss the model and here first you will have to add this to first a ref as well as a use state for whether the model has been mounted or not ignore this line for now as well as this for now i will come back to this and here you will have to add ref dot current document dot get selector and if you remember this is our id right model dash container that's what i'm using over here and i'm using hashtag because of the id and i'm setting the is mounted to true and if it is mounted we will just use create portal from react dom we will pass whatever is the content of our model and you will just pass ref dot current after a comma ref dot current as element and if it is not mounted we will just uh, display it as null and the reason i am using this because if you see inside global dot css i have just added this styling because um, i want uh, the document like our body or our entire html to be not scrolling once the model is dis uh, displayed so once if it is displayed i am adding this model dash open and if uh, once it is dismissed i am removing this style so our content is not scrollable so yeah that's it so this is our demo and if i click on open model uh, here you can see i am able to display the model one important thing which i wanted to tell you guys is uh, make sure while defining the model the position is used as fixed if you use absolute then the, what issue will happen is uh, suppose if i scroll a little and if i click on open model some of your content might get display might get uh, cropped out completely because the model will start from over here but you have already scrolled right uh, to avoid this problem uh, you have to use position fixed both for your background so if i click on open model now it is displayed properly if i close if i scroll down more and if i click on this button then also it is displayed properly so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye